It's Friday. <laughs> oh my God, I've missed saying that, you guys. I think I haven't said that in like, I haven't said that in like two months. Wow. I hope y'all missed me because I sure missed you all. And um, this is our first video for 2020. Ah, <laughs> nah, happy new year, everybody. Happy new year. What have you guys been up to? What's been going on? Thank you all so much for tuning in to my channel. I'm Princess Fauna, aka Pastor P, aka Miss P. You choose one and I'll answer. If you are new to my channel, you are so welcome. On my channel, I talk about everyday life experiences. We look at the Word of God. I get to take you guys on trips with me, so a little bit of vlogging. And then um, sometimes I just come on and we just chit-chat. You know, we just chit chat. So, um, if you're new, do me a favor, join the PFN family. Go ahead and click the subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my episodes. You'll be able to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I usually post every Friday. For my returning subscribers, you guys, you guys are the real MVPs. I love y'all so much. Okay, so happy new year, everybody. Okay, so first of all, um, I just want to start by saying thank you. Um, thank you to all of you that have been messaging me, um, just asking me, hey, are you okay? What's going on? Where have you been? You know, and all of that. I was like, wow, I didn't, you know, I mean, I knew you guys loved me, but I'm like, I didn't know they cared about me and my channel that much. Like, but you guys are so real. You guys are pretty legit. So I just want to say thank y'all so much for checking on me. I really, really appreciate it. Like, you guys, it's the little things like that that goes a, a long way. See, sometimes as, um, you know, YouTubers or influencers or motivators, um, we, we give a lot. We give a lot of ourselves, um, a lot of, you know, our giftings, our talents, our time, our love to a lot of different people and we don't always get that in return and so after a while some of us we get to that position or uh, that point of knowing that okay i am doing this you know because it's my passion i am doing this you know for god i'm doing this you know because of purpose or whatever the reasons for other people that they do it for some of them okay i'm doing this just for the money you know or i'm doing this whatever the reason may be we get to that point where we acknowledge it and we become okay with it but when we get to that moment where we actually receive love back and we receive genuine concern back it means so much and it goes such a long way so i just want to say thank you guys so so very much um for all the love for the checkups for the concern you guys look i'm not going nowhere okay some of y'all thought oh you know you're gonna stop you know doing pf girl where 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 am i going <laughs> We in this together forever, okay? As long as, you know, y'all don't get tired of me, I ain't gonna get tired of y'all. If you do get tired of me, you better get over there real fast because, you know, you stuck with me. We stuck together. We family. That's what family do, okay? <laughs> but thank you guys so much. Okay, so where have I been? So every year when the year starts, um, what I like to do with my team and my, my entire family um, what we do is that we take the time out to fast and to pray. Um, and that's not because, you know, I'm in ministry alone or anything like that. That's not that's the only reason. But um, one thing I've discovered is that when whenever I start my, my year, um, we're just l praying with just fasting, um, with just listening, making that private time to spend time with God and just listening to what it is that God wants me to do for the year where he wants me to go where he wants my team to engage in i realized that 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 year when i'm able to hear the voice of god and i'm able to follow it all through the year i've been successful i've made a lot of impact i've been able to do the things that you guys see me do one thing i don't like to do is to just act on my own because then it just becomes um just something i'm doing but for me my channel um, the PFN network, it's more than just that. For me, it's more about um, accomplishing 
the purpose and the assignment that God has given me to do, um, which is to just put smiles on your faces, to um, impact you guys, to encourage you guys, to motivate you guys, whether it is with the Word of God or with personal life experiences or stories. I want to be able to do that. So every time you connect to my channel and um, you hear what I have to say or you see me, I want you to, to finish watching the videos and feel like, man, that was so worth my time. Like, that was that was definitely worth my 15 my 20 or my 5 or my 10 minutes so um usually i would fast and pray for 21 days this year i did 40 days yes and bible says that jesus fasted for 40 days and it was after that fast that his actual ministry actually began at the age of 30 um and after he had fasted after those 40 days and 40 nights bible said that he was tempted by um, the devil, but I'm not gonna preach to y'all today. See, you see, you saw how the pastor thing tried to come out just now, <laughs> but I'm not gonna preach to y'all. But I did pray for you guys while I was away, so you guys were in my heart, in my prayers, and in my spirit. So that's where I've been. I'm excited to get the year started um, on the channel this year. Hopefully, I'm gonna try my best to get a little more open with you guys. I feel like there's some personal um things that i want to to share with you guys with um on and i hope that it'll be able to just help you know my subscribers my viewers um with whatever it is that you guys are going through there's some things that i just want to unbox and i feel like i want to be able to do it with you guys so um let's get ready for that as well and i've got some great um surprises I'm not going to give it away just yet, <laughs> coming up this year, but this year our goal is to grow. Um, I want us to grow um, in our subscription, I want us to grow in our family. So if you're watching, please do me a favor, please make sure you share my videos, whether it is on your Insta stories, whether it is on your Facebook, um, whatever it is, please, please, please help me share my videos. Um, get your friends and your families to subscribe and um, let's just grow together. But this year we definitely, definitely want to grow and expand as a family, okay? Um, so that's where I've been. That's what I've been up to. Um, just a few things, I guess, that I'm going into the new year with. Um, it's just one to have a clear vision and I'm not even trying to be cliche because it's 2020 or vision 20 or anything like that but um, I want to just encourage all of us to have a clear vision of what it is that we're trying to accomplish this year we're in a whole new decade um, what it is that you're trying to accomplish um, for those of you that have never done maybe like a vision board um, try it out this year um, Habakkuk 2 2 Bible says that um, write the vision make it plain so that all who see it will run with it so one thing I've learned that have really helped me out so far in the year and that I've been very intentional about is just putting all my goals, my visions, um, and the things that, you know, God has been dropping in my heart and in my spirit for the year, just writing them down um, and just putting them, you know, on, on, on my, my wall in my room uh, so that every morning when I wake up, I'm able to see them and I'm able to um, remind myself on a daily basis that okay this is what we are work, working towards for this year so make your vision plain have a vision make it plain and then another thing also is that this year try to eliminate a lot of voices um what do i mean by that a lot of us we value people's inputs and people's opinions about what they have to say about what we're doing, what they have to say about our lives, what they have to say about our business, what they have to say about our education. This year, I want us to find our own voices. Find your own voice. What do princess want? What do you want? It's not what your best friend is telling you to do, what your, your, your pastor thinks you should be doing. What is it that you believe strongly in your heart that this is what God wants me to do for 2020? 
find your voice and whilst their opinions, whilst their inputs, whilst what they have to say um, may mean a lot to us, but this is the year where you have to step out in faith. You have to step out on your own and say, you know what, I'm going to do what's best for me. I'm going to follow my dreams. I'm going to fulfill my purpose. This year, find your voice. So, you know, identify your vision, make it plain, find your own voice, silence the extra voices and the extra inputs, okay? And this year, no matter how hard things get, make sure you find a way to stay encouraged, to stay motivated, to stay hungry, to stay, you know, charged up. Uh, because sometimes we start with so much excitement and so much enthusiasm that y'all like that word, didn't y'all? Ooh, that's a SAT word. <laughs> but um, we start with so much excitement that halfway through the year, um, we begin to get weary or it begins to fade out. No, stay motivated and stay focused on that which you're trying to get done, okay? So um, I'm not going to make this video super long. I just want you guys to know that I'm back. We're back. Let's get it going. Let's get it, you know, what's the love word I'm looking for? Let's get it um, popping, if we still use that word. <laughs> y'all don't judge me, okay? If y'all don't use that word anymore, in the comment section below, let me know what words are hip these days because I've been in the mountains somewhere. <laughs> so you guys, um, leave me comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching. So um, for the, my subscribers who know, I have a network called the Princess Runa Network. And I will be having a conference this year. It's an empowerment conference. I had my first one last year. This year I'll be having another one. And it's on April 3rd and 4th um, in Columbus, Ohio. It's called the Made for More conference i want you guys to fly in i want you guys to make sure that you come i'm gonna leave my email link in the description box uh click on the email send me an email that i'm interested i want to come to the conference come it's going to be an awesome time it's going to be such a blessing um and it's it's going to be an experience that is going to transform lives and i'm super 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 excited about it so hopefully you guys can come out um to columbus start looking for your tickets start you know renting getting your rental cars and all that stuff and make sure you come it's gonna be so so amazing okay you guys it's one in the morning i just wanted to come on and say hey i'm back i'm excited about the new year let's get it going um let's see what will happen so if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up um if you're excited that i'm back please give it a thumbs up and guys please 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 uh, help let's 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 help grow the channel okay hit the subscribe button click on the notification bell and um, i can't wait to catch y'all in my next video for all our new subscribers that have joined the family while i was away you guys are uh, welcome to the family i'm so excited that you've joined us you've subscribed and um i'll see you guys shortly bye everybody